What's up everyone? My name is William and today we're going to be going over the randomizer MIDI effect. So first of all, I have uh, just a, a new session here. I have an instrument track uh, with an EXS24 on it. It has the Steinway Grand Piano 2 preset, which you can just go down the factory, acoustic pianos and Steinway Grand Piano 2. Um, and of course I have my uh, MIDI that I already have here, which is just a major C chord. It's the C, E, and G key. Um, and so, jump right, jumping right into it, um, I'm going to put the randomizer MIDI effect on this track by just clicking the MIDI effects box and going down the randomizer. And then this dialog pops up, this, this box here. Um, so first of all, let's, let's play the, the chord without the MIDI effect to see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's our C major chord. Um, next, going over some of these parameters. Um, so it, it's a fairly simple uh, MIDI effect, much like uh, most of the other MIDI effects that we've gone over. Um, right at the top here, we have event type, which what this means is it uh, you select which parameter we're going to randomize here. So right now it's on velocity. I'm going to switch it to note number, though, so it'll be much easier to, to listen to the differences since note number in MIDI is related to the, uh, the pitch of the note. Um, Next, right underneath that, we have the input range. Now, this is a, a bar which you would use if you wanted to only have a certain range of notes affected by the, by the randomizer. So like if you only wanted the, the really high notes, you could, you could have notes 90 to 127, which is the very upper notes of the keyboard um, affected. You could just select that as your input range. I'm going to leave it to all right now, though, for my input range. You know, this of course being our minimum. This of course being our maximum. We can just click and slide uh, these two sliders here to determine. And the yellow area is what will be affected. And also, if you cross these sliders, it's everything outside of them. It, it's like a uh, a low pass and high pass uh, almost. Um, so moving on, after we select our input range, I'm going to, again, leave it at the uh, 0 to 127 input range, which is all of the notes. Um, moving on to this box right here. This is where the randomization actually happens. So first of all, we have this slider right here, which determines uh, the, the amount of the randomness, uh, as you could say. So what this is doing is, so right now it's at zero random. So if we play, I have to make sure it's on first. If we play our C major chord, there's going to be nothing different whatsoever, even though it's technically going through this randomizer. No matter how many times I play it, it's going to be the exact same. This determines how random it can be. So right now it's it's going to play the same exact notes that it is because it's on random. Uh, of the random sliders at zero. If we turned it up a little bit more, we're gonna have some more notes that can be randomized, meaning it can be in uh, this range of, of notes here. Turn it all the way up and it and the notes that are in our C major chord can end up being any note on the piano roll. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. I'm gonna keep it all the way up just so we can really hear the differences as we're going. And then right here we have this weight slider on, at the bottom of the box. And what this means is it uh, moves this this fade that we have in the in the uh, the image here. And what this does is it determines where um, the randomization is most likely gonna end up. If you wanted, you know, more randomization towards the higher ends, and since we have a our note number is being affected. It'll be higher pitches more likely uh, than lower pitches or vice versa. If we wanted more lower pitches rather than higher, we could set it to down here. I'm going to leave it at the middle for right now so it's kind of just an even blend between everything. And then the very last parameter we have on this randomizer is this off-put outset, or excuse me, this output offset. I, I had a little flub there. Um, and this we just can slide it left or right, which it moves the entire... Uh, fade either to the left or the right, the entire um, output. Um, so if we had it all the way on the left, it would, no matter what we had the weight set to, it would always be the the lower uh, the lower inputs. And then if we had it higher, it'd be always the higher inputs. So that's just something to keep in mind if you wanted, you know, to to offset the output of the randomizer. 
So I'm just gonna play it how it is. I'm gonna play this C major chord and we'll get some different results. So right now we're affecting the note number, um, any input range, meaning any note that's played on the piano roll here will be affected. You turn the randomization all the way up and I'm actually going to change the weight. I'm gonna put the weight at 50% just so it's right in the middle of the higher end here. So it's most likely gonna be in the high end of, of the, uh, the higher notes. So now let, let's just play this and see what happens. Well, as you can notice, it's much higher than it was before. If I play it again, different notes. And as you can see, every time I play it, it's completely different. And even though it still had some lower notes there, it was more in the higher range since I had the weight to 50% on the higher uh, end of the spectrum. If I put it right in the middle. I have a lot in the middle range of the keyboard, right where, right where uh, our notes are being played, right more around there. Um, but th that's the randomizer in general, and you can experiment with this. You can change the event types, like we can do velocity, for example. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit just so we make sure we're not uh, blasting the speakers here. So as you can see, the velocities were, were different on each one. And of course, we can adjust the, the, the weight and we can adjust the output offset uh, in order to get something more to our desire. But uh, overall though, that that is the randomizer MIDI effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is William. Thank you for watching.